us start with our lecture now we had uh, started with uh, communication style if you remember in communication style we have seen that there are different different styles that each and every person sees we have seen the definition of communication style okay then we have seen the communication style matrix which is given by dr edin russo where we have seen that on a y level he has taken assertiveness uh, there are two levels you have high level as well as low level and he has taken expressiveness that is emotion as uh, on y x axis you have some people who are high on emotions and you have some people who are low on emotion while communication okay so they communicate with high emotions or they communicate with low emotions or they communicate with high assertiveness or they communicate with low assertiveness accordingly the person with high assertiveness usually tells the things a person with high emotions displays his emotion a person with low assertiveness ask about the things and a person with uh, low expressiveness hides his emotion okay and depending upon that there are four quadrants that have been formed and these four quadrants we can add them as direct uh, communication style depending upon these four quadrants where a person lies you can have uh, the person with direct communication style spirited communication style considered communication style and systematic communication style i told you also that please do remember this uh, this quadrant or this diagram very very nicely uh, further most of my slides if you see they are containing this uh, as a diagram because depending upon this diagram you will be able to you know understand the things which you are going to study further then we have seen that the people can fall uh, each people can communicate in different different ways some people do have only direct communication style spirited communication style only or concentrated or systematic communication style whereas some have a combination of direct and systematic direct and spirited spirited and concentrated or concentrated and systematic or a person falling uh, near this quadrant okay near this uh, uh, axis where the x and y axis it crosses each other okay this kind of a person is going to have a communication style which is going to be a mix of all the styles then we see uh, we have seen this uh, you know tells uh, displays emotion asks and hides emotion which i told you earlier then we further went on to see that a person has his own primary style along with it he has his secondary style primary style is the one which is more comfortable with once is dis discussing with his friends etc then that is the style which he uses that is a primary style but when he goes to his job when he is dealing with his bosses when is when is uh, his to his business then the style that he then that the style that he acquires okay that is required for his job that is required for his situation is is the secondary style and usually over a period of time what happens is his primary and secondary style they they seem to overlap with each other or they combine with each other and then you get one style which is a combination style okay or a person himself may be having a combination style also aisa koi zaruri nahi ki uske ek primary style ho gaya aur secondary style separate ho gayi he may have a, a combination style also or a period of over a period of time he may develop a uh, combination style just for an example uh, uh, if uh, like my uh, my daughter my wife they always tell me If, uh, don't uh, don't talk to us uh, talk to us as if you are talking with your students okay don't explain us so much as if you are explaining to your students okay or don't scold us as you are explaining uh, as you are scolding to your students okay because what happens is though my primary style would be different my secondary style is as i am a teacher my secondary style would be as a teacher okay so many a times you know wo baat aa jati hai aapke baat mein Uh, uh in your communication like if you are if your parents are in military okay they are they are from army they are from navy then what is going to happen that kind of a style bachpan mein unki wo style nahi hongi but over a period of time staying in military okay staying in army they would develop that kind of a style and that would be their now combination style they would be using the primary or secondary style they the combination and they would be behaving as if they are a military man at home also okay many times that happen a director outside them is director at home also something something like this happens okay so secondary style sometimes also overtakes your primary style right then we talked about uh, this graph you know you have a primary style and you have a secondary style and then finally you come up with a style which is a combination of both of them then we see some examples just for example if the primary style is uh, director and if the secondary style is harmonizer then you get a tertiary style as persuader i also told you this this graph has nothing to do with uh, dr elin russo's model which you are going to study further but just to give you an idea of the primary and the secondary style and how the 
स्टाइल चेंजेस एंड हाउ अ पर्सन गेट्स अ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ दैट स्टाइल ओके फॉर दैट आई आई जस्ट वॉन्टेड टू शो यू दिस लाइट दिस लाइट यू कैन इजिली स्कीप अप फ्रॉम योर वॉट यू कॉल दैट फ्रॉम योर माइंड ऑल्सो एंड फ्रॉम एवरीथिंग बिकॉज दिस हेज नथिंग टू डू विद डॉक्टर एन इन रूस मॉडल now coming to the uh, each and every style in detail let us study each and every style in detail let us first see about the direct communication style I, if you see the direct communication style the direct communication style lies in this quadrant okay this quadrants reflects high on assertiveness means the person who tells okay and very less on emotion so emotionally he is hiding his emotion he is that a kind of a person okay who tells who, uh, who who doesn't ask about the thing who tells the things okay that this is how i want it to be done and he hides his emotion he is a emotionless person he is not going to show any emotion while he is talking right he is that kind of a person okay or his communication is of that type man se wo kaisa bhi ho theek hai lekin uska communication is type mein hone wala hai so these kind of people are high on assertiveness as i told you they are very high on assertiveness and they are not expressive in nature they are low in expression or they hide their emotion they usually tell others what to do right they are kind of directors they are going to tell the people what is to be done and they never ask others people that how it can be done can we do it in this way should we do it in this way or these kinds of thing there is no discussion that is going on they just come and they give the command to the people okay so they are these type of people that they tell what is to be done they will not show their emotions very easily okay they are very low on emotions so agar aapko agar supposing aapko aap bimar ho aise hai waise hai they don't they are not going to come and ask you are you feeling well what has happened and and so on and so forth they are not going to ask these things they are just going to stick to stick to their agenda जो उनको बताना है वो बता के चले जाएंगे ओके बेसिकली कम्युनिकेशन स्टाइल इज टू यू नो हेसन द थिंग्स अप टू एक्सपीडाइट द थिंग्स राइट दे डोंट वांट टू वेस्ट द टाइम बिकॉज दे डोंट दे फील दैट दे डोंट हैव टाइम सो मच ऑफ टाइम सो दे विल बी वेरी शॉर्ट दे विल बी वेरी स्क्रिस्ट ओके इन वॉट एवर दे आर सींग और वॉट एवर दे आर राइटिंग कम्युनिकेशन इज बोथ रिटर्न एंड ओरल का टाइप ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन सो वाइल राइटिंग ऑल्सो दे राइट डॉन वेरी शॉर्ट एंड स्क्रिप्ट क्रिस्ट and while speaking also they will be speaking just short and script aju baju ka kuch nahi bolenge they are not they are not going to show their emotions they are not going to uh, talk anything irrelevant they are not going to give examples anything they are not going to be elaborate as i told you they are going to be very short they are going to be very scripts and has they are very short and crisp hence they their communication style is what is basically to hasten up the things in uh, in short they don't have time so they just finish up their communication very very fast okay now these kind of people may appear to be you appear to you as to be very blunt and cold okay the basically the director level as uh, this is the direct kind of communication style okay used basically by the director level agar aapko wo dusra wala agar chart yaad hai okay if you remember this chart so this is where the director comes in play this is the director style okay so दे बेसिकली जो डायरेक्टर लेवल के लोग होते हैं कल कहा गए थे हाउ वॉज योर डे हाउ वॉर यू दीज काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स आर आर नॉट इन दे आर यू नो कम्युनिकेशन स्टाइल राइट एंड they uh, uh, and they uh, usually the people who take this communication very personally the people who take communication personally they may they were not kind to tend to like these kind of people okay because they are very blunt and they are very to the point and they are very cold they are not warm towards you the communication is not warm okay they are not warm means in the in the short the communication is not very warm they are it is very blunt in nature now uh, if uh, i also told you yesterday try to and uh, try to find out what is the communication style you have okay if you remember it yesterday so uh, in my in my last lecture i told you that uh, there are four types of communication style one is direct one is spirited okay then third one i told you is considerate 
and the other one is systematic communication style depending upon the assertiveness in the emotions i hope so that uh, somebody must be feeling whatever i talked about now somebody must be feeling that their communication style is a direct communication style can somebody be a volunteer and tell me that who's come who feels that his communication style is a direct communication style please so that i can take his example and i can tell you uh, the further thing anybody who can volunteer he can write down in the chat box also and say that yes sir i feel that direct hello 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 ha it is aniket right hello yes i am able to hear you yes i am able to hear you acha so aniket so yes 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 so aniket aniket is saying his style is you know a uh, uh, direct communication style that is what he feels that he belongs to this category of communication style that is the direct communication style where so is very crisp so may i ask something yeah please please go ahead uh, sir like being straight forward and having a direct communication is a different thing right like I'm no it it is it is it is it is a little bit of one and the same okay because the person who are straight forward they are little bit less on emotion please remember straight forward people are always less on emotion that's why they are straight forward whereas if i say diplomatic डिप्लोमेटिक का वेरी हाई ऑन इमोशन इसलिए उनको डिप्लोमेटिक बोला जाता है एंड स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड को स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड इसीलिए बोला जाता है क्योंकि वो दूसरे की इमोशंस की परवाह नहीं करते ओके दैट इज वाई दे आर कॉल ए स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड हेंस दे बेसिकली आर दी डायरेक्ट कम्युनिकेशन स्टाइल ओनली आप उनको स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड बोलते हैं दे बेसिकली वुड बी लाइंग आइदर योर दैट इज अ डायरेक्ट कम्युनिकेशन स्टाइल और दे मे बी लाइंग योर ऑल्सो सिस्टमैटिक अगर वो स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड होने के साथ उनके अगर उसमें उसमें और कुछ आप क्वालिटीज मिला दो देन दे विल बिकम इनटू अ सिस्टेमिक सो फ्रॉम हियर दे विल कम ओवर हियर सो दे मे बी डायरेक्ट और दे मे बी व्हाट कॉल दैट सिस्टेमैटिक डिपेंडिंग अपॉन द अदर क्वालिटीज स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्डनेस के साथ उनके पास क्या क्या क्वालिटीज है उसमें वो आइदर डायरेक्टर में आ जाएंगे या फिर वो uh, इसमें आ जाएंगे वो स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड है इसका मतलब वो लो ऑन इमोशन है so as they are on low on emotion they are so they are on the left hand side of the uh, coordinate so they can be on the direct or they can be on the systematic am i am i clear did you get your answer okay but most of the but most of the time they are direct that it is a direct communication skill straight forwards are very very low on emotions right okay and most of the time they are direct communication skill so aniket i am giving you some tips as you have you know you have direct communication skill so i am giving tips to you that when you are communicating what are the things that you are going to follow first of all aniket matlab aniket i am just taking you as a example please uh, please don't yes, get offended i am just taking you as an example jo jinki jinki bhi direct communication style hai unhone kya kya karna chahiye ye main aapko bata raha so aniket aapko kya karna padega pehla you have to make an effort to listen fully to others also without avoiding or interrupting them because the problem that lies with you is you usually don't ask the things so as you don't ask the thing you are not you are not a very good listener kyunki aap director ho barabar hai aap directly sirf aapko kehna aata hai sunna nahi aata to thoda sunne ki bhi koshish karo theek hai so make efforts to listen fully and without avoiding uh, and without interrupting them theek hai allow allow some time for chatting at the beginning of the meeting thoda sa hello hi bolne ki koshish karo thoda sa unke bare mein poocho hello how are you kaise chal raha hai tumhara tumhari beta kaisa hai tumhari beti kaisi hai if he or she is in 10th or 12th did he get the admission or so on and so forth theek hai try to do these things recognize that you know the others uh, also have the need to express their emotions about the topics सिर्फ बोल के खत्म मत करो लोगों को पूछो कि आपको भी कुछ सजेशन देना है क्या किसी टॉपिक पे लोगों का भी सुनने की कोशिश करो ओके बिकॉज दे आल्सो हैव टू से समथिंग अबाउट द टॉपिक दैट यू आर डिस्कसिंग इट इज नॉट जस्ट यू हैव टू टेल एंड अदर्स हैव टू लिसन अदर्स आल्सो हैव टू टेल सो इन ऑर्डर टू मेक द कम्युनिकेशन ट्राई टू यू नो एक्सप्रेस यू नो लेट दम एक्सप्रेस दर इमोशन लेट दम लेट दम टेल दम समथिंग अबाउट द टॉपिक ओके 
that is that that brings to my next point that you know uh, brainstorming is very important whenever you are talking about a point agar 10 log us topic mein contribute karenge that is known as brainstorming brainstorming is where everybody puts their mind into the topic so if, if there is a brainstorming that is happening okay then it is going to be useful don't think that aniket that agar brainstorming log apne views denge suggestions denge so it is just a time waster because aniket may be thinking you know just listening to others is just wastage of time because he knows what is to be done and it should be done in that way short and sweet communication please do this finish matter over aisa nahi hona chahiye thoda sa dusro ka bhi suno sunne ki koshish karo now try to uh, communicate your expectation okay like how uh, a meeting is going to go for how much time the meeting is going to go which are the topics that are to be covered what are the results that are expecting expected from a meeting before the meeting starts so that people are also getting involved into the meeting okay and if you tell your expectations people will listen to that meeting in that aspect okay as because uh, you don't believe into all this anike okay you don't believe into telling people that how the meeting is going to happen for how much length of time it is going to happen what are the time topics that are required to be covered what are the expected results you don't believe into telling all this you don't believe into this because you feel that it is wastage of time you want the you don't want to communicate a lot you want to communicate in a very short way that's why you're not doing all these things so please try to do these things okay also you know you take uh, time to show an appreciation towards the other others if they are if they are giving some suggestions if they are telling you something okay again you find this as a waste of time you know appreciating people or uh, you know uh, patting their backs and so on and so forth okay because you are very low on emotions as you are very low on emotions that is why you don't uh, feel that appreciation is necessary it is not the thing if somebody is putting forward his point then please do appreciate him tell him that your ideas are very good i like your ideas okay these kinds of things now also uh, Please stop using the mails for. Yes, somebody. Yes, sir, it's me, Krishna. Pure it. I just finish these two points and I will talk to you, Krishna. Okay. Okay. Sir. Uh, no problem. Don't don't use mails for sensitive and complicated type uh, topic and that to short mails. Okay, any case, avoid it. If you are using uh, uh, for sensitive topics for complicated topics. uh yes uh, i know that you don't have time and you don't believe into communication but try to you know uh, uh do not use mails and call the people make them sit together okay discuss out with them regarding the sensitive and complicated topics okay and if you are taking some meetings etc uh, like i said listen uh, uh, have been strumming another thing that you have to do is please do keep some time uh, for the in the meeting for uh, the feedbacks and for the questions that they want to ask you uh, there may be some points which are unclear it is not that they have understood everything okay so uh, so try to you know give some uh, time for questions and feedback like you know uh, like uh, purohit now said that he wants krishna said that he wants to ask some question so i should give him that time to ask the question okay because because uh, about this topic about this communication style there are some questions that are cropping up in your mind also so if i do a brainstorming if i do a discussion then the topic would be more clear okay so aniket please follow this step when you are communicating as you are a direct communicator yes krishna go ahead so you said that the brainstorming is an important tool but uh, uh, in a scenario like a company this brainstorming hmm. is only useful when these thoughts and views put together come turn out to be effective or else it's simple time wasting absolutely absolutely i agree with you now again regarding meetings and brainstorming there are different different views uh, please remember whatever views are been put forward or whatever views i am telling may not be my views they are basically with respect to the uh, what to call that uh, with respect to uh, the theory part or whatever is been written by the scientists okay it is basically respect to that uh, brainstorming would be good uh, in a way if you ask my personal views my personal views then my personal views are brainstorming should happen okay uh, uh, but the brainstorming as as it is said over here uh, should end with the expected results 
why we have met and what is the expected result should be already be known to us and then only the brainstorming should happen and just just for an uh, just for an example uh, as you said i'll give you some another example okay just oppose you i am giving this example uh, sometimes in many books you will write, you will read also that brainstorming is just kya uh, bolte chai or bai okay it is known in hindi as chai or bai means chai piyo or bai bai karo output zero aise bhi kaha jata hai meetings ke liye uh, so like a, if you if you have a meeting and you come out of the meeting and your friends ask you what was there in the meeting to bahut bar aisa hota hai chai bai chai bai matlab humne chai pi aur ek dusre ko bai kiya output was zero many a times this happens you are absolutely right uh, krishna but just uh, just uh, imagine a scenario whereby today i am just telling you that within 3 days after 3 days you are having the examination iska matlab jab main aisa bolta hu ki after 3 days you are having examination the communication is very short the communication is very crisp okay and it is a very direct communication jo communication the communication which is emotion less i am not thinking about you okay jo karna hai karo raat din padhai karo kuch bhi karo notes chahiye to lo notes chahiye to mat lo i am not thinking about you okay is that better or making you sit together asking you is your syllabus completed are you ready for the examination can i take it after 3 days you will say no no sir take it after 20 days i will tell you no beta 20 days ke baad nahi le sakte uske liye fir baad mein apne ko do exam conduct karne hain aisa karna hai waisa karna hai. and we discuss it out and then we come to a conclusion is that better is that brainstorming better or just telling you ki the exam will be on after 3 days that is better you tell me krishna so the other one is better the other one is better in case of brainstorming so brainstorming here would be helpful but just imagine a scenario that i am asking you ki teen din ke baad exam hai what do you feel you say no no sir the exam should be after 10 days then somebody else is saying no no sir the exam should be on 20 20 days somebody is saying no sir the exam should be after 3 days only you are uh, you are right take it after 3 days only somebody is saying sir please don't take the examinations only why do you want to take examination it is just waste of time somebody is saying something somebody is saying something somebody is saying something and finally at the end of the day you are not coming to any conclusion then which is better then the first one is better because there you are at least having some uh, you are having some you know decision which has been taken and the exams are finally getting conducted are you are you understanding are you understanding so bahut bar aisa hota hai ki supposing i want to take a uh, uh, take a machine i i call for brainstorming everybody comes with different 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 ideas or finally jo machine lena hai that remains pending and that machine is not finally brought only तो so, यहां पे क्या हो गया ब्रेन स्ट्रॉमिंग का नुकसान हो गया लेकिन कहीं कहीं पे ब्रेन स्ट्रॉमिंग होकर इतनी अच्छी मशीन आ जाती है कि इट बिकम्स वेरी वेरी यूजफुल मैं कुछ गलत मशीन खरीदने वाला था लेकिन ब्रेन स्ट्रॉमिंग होने के बाद आई एम एबल टू बाय अ गुड मशीन फॉर दर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन देर द ब्रेन स्ट्रॉमिंग बिकम्स यूज तो ब्रेन स्ट्रॉमिंग हैज इस ओन प्रोज एंड कॉन्स वॉट इट ओके कमिंग बैक सो दिस इज दीज आर द टिप्स फॉर अनिकेत Uh, as he is a direct communication style, he is having direct communication style. So these are the tips for him how he can improve upon his communication. Okay, let me give others, you know, uh, his friends who are uh, who are going to communicate with Aniket further. Communicate uh, Aniket is a person with a direct communication style. So when you are communicating with, when I am communicating with Aniket, what are the things that I have to remember? what are the what are the tips for me what are the tips for you while we are communicating with aniket the first tip that we have is that you have to ask aniket is he having time to talk with us because aniket is a busy person he doesn't like you know to spend time in communication so just don't go and you know just uh, interrupt him because he doesn't like to communicate okay and he wants the communication to be short and crisp remember that so please we should we should come to the point very quickly 
you should not bore him by giving the background you know, and information i am sure aniket is not liking my uh, my teachings i am sure i am 100% sure if aniket is having a direct communication style my teaching uh, is you know goal and goal and goal right it is not a direct communication i expect, i i give lots of examples i give a lot of you know stories etc that is a different kind of communication style that i am having so my style of communication is not liked by aniket he is saying sir please come to the point what you want to say okay direct communication style okay no time okay fine fine go fast go fast that is what he wants so with these kind of people if aniket is my boss then i should be very careful while communicating with him i have to get to the point very very quickly and i don't have to bore him with the background information okay i have to limit my chatting and conversation okay that is off topic ओके जो भी जो भी है पॉइंट टू पॉइंट बोलना है अगर मुझे उसको मशीन के बारे में बोलना है तो आई कैनॉट टॉक अबाउट प्रोडक्शन आई कैनॉट टॉक अबाउट क्वालिटी कंट्रोल आई हैव टू टॉक अबाउट द मशीन वेरी फास्ट आई हैव टू गिव इन द डिटेल्स ऑफ मशीन वेरी फास्ट सर दिस इज द मशीन दिस इज दिस दिस इज द कॉस्टिंग एंड सो ऑन एंड सो फोर्थ राइट एंड आई हैव टू लिमिट माय कन्वर्सेशन आई हैव टू कीप इट वेरी शॉर्ट एंड आई हैव टू यूज शॉर्ट एंड डायरेक्ट सेंटेंसेस ओके दैट इज द वन थिंग आई हैव टू डू आई हैव टू मेक हिम स्पेसिफिक रिक्वेस्ट रिक्वेस्ट करते वक्त भी मुझे वो बताना है कि मैं उनसे क्या चाहता हूं अनिकेत जी से मैं क्या चाहता हूं ओके आई डोंट हैव टू आई डोंट हैव टू बीट अराउंड द बुश फॉर रिक्वेस्ट ऑल्सो इवन से जल्दी बोलो यार तुमको क्या चाहिए टेल मी फास्ट आने के टेल मी सर जल्दी जल्दी बोलो वॉट यू वॉन्ट सो आई हैव टू मेक अ स्पेसिफिक रिक्वेस्ट टू हिम फॉर एग्जाम्पल मैं ऐसा नहीं बोल सकता सर आपको तो पता है मेरी बेटी का ट्वेल्थ अभी स्टैंडर्ड उसने अभी अभी पास किया हुआ है और फिर उसको अच्छे मार्क्स भी मिले हुए हैं तो आप जानते हैं कि सर आजकल एडमिशन मिलना बहुत मुश्किल है इफ इफ आई स्टार्ट डूइंग दिस प्लीज कम टू द पॉइंट व्हाट यू आर ट्राइंग टू टेल मी सो आई टू टेल हिम सर आई वांट वॉन्टेड टुमोरो फाइन हिल से फाइन ओके टेक द हॉलीडे सो डोंट टेल मी ऑल दिस थिंग तेरी बेटी कहाँ पे पढ़ रही है और क्या कर रही है और उसको कितने मार्क्स मिले और ये वो तुमको क्या चाहिए ओके तो यू वांट यू वांट टू लीव ना प्लीज टेक द लीव एंड गो ऑफ ओके डोंट टेल मी ऑल दिस थिंग्स सो ये व्हेन यू यू व्हेन यू आर मेकिंग अ रिक्वेस्ट यू हैव टू मेक अ वेरी स्पेसिफिक रिक्वेस्ट टू हिम ओके डोंट लाइक आई टेल यू डोंट गिव और आस्क पर्सनल इंफॉर्मेशन जाके उसको ये मत पूछो सर आपकी बेटी कौन से स्टैंडर्ड में है वो बोलेगा मेरी बेटी ट्वेल्थ स्टैंडर्ड मेरी बेटी सेकंड ईयर में सर आप तो जानते हैं एडमिशन मिलना आजकल कितना डिफिकल्ट हो गया है बहुत घूमना पड़ता है आजकल सो डोंट डोंट टेल हिम ऑल सच थिंग्स ओके डोंट आस्क और गिव हिम एनी फॉर पर्सनल इन्फॉर्मेशन अनलेस अनिकेत आस्क थी इफ अनिकेत इज आस्किंग यू देन गिव हिम द इन्फॉर्मेशन डोंट प्रोमिस हिम वॉट यू कैनॉट डिलीवर जो स्पिरिटेड इन्फॉर्मेशन वाले होते हैं ना द नेक्स्ट इन द नेक्स्ट कम्युनिकेशन वाला है स्पिरिटेड कम्युनिकेशन तो स्पिरिटेड कम्युनिकेशन वालों का है ना सब ऐसा दे दे मेक एवरीथिंग ऑल द क्लाइंट्स वेरी ह्यूज दे प्रॉमिस अपॉन वेरी वेरी गुड थिंग्स ओके एंड व्हेन इट कम्स टू डिलीवर वो कुछ जीरो रहता है जस्ट फॉर एग्जांपल आप आई एम अ टीचर आई एम आई एम आस्किंग से कृष्णा आई जस्ट टेकिंग यू एग्जांपल बिकॉज आई वी जस्ट हैड इन डिस्कशन मैं आई एम टेलिंग कृष्णा कृष्णा टुमोरो आई वॉन्ट यू टू प्रिपेयर अ नोट्स ऑन यू नो डायरेक्ट कम्युनिकेशन स्किल कृष्णा विल लाइक दिस सर डायरेक्ट कम्युनिकेशन स्किल क्या कर रहे हो आप आई विल प्रिपेयर ऑन दिस प्रिटेड कम्युनिकेशन ऑल्सो आई विल प्रिपेयर ऑन कंसिडेड कम्युनिकेशन ऑल्सो आई विल प्रिपेयर ऑन दिस ऑल्सो सर द अर्लियर चैप्टर ऑल्सो बस सर आप सिर्फ देखते रहो मैं क्या करूंगा ऐसा बोलेगा कृष्णा सो विल प्रोमिस अ लॉट because he is he is that type of person he is a spirited communicator so bahut sara promise karega lekin jab delivery ki bari aayegi to zero na na direct communication pe banaya hoga na ek sentence bhi likha hoga okay he won't do anything right because he is the person of spirited communication lekin jab tum krishna yaad rakhna jab tum iske sath baat kar rahe ho aniket ke sath baat kar rahe ho to ye nahi chalega so you have to tell whatever you you can deliver only promise that okay don't sugar coat the things spirited communication people have the habit of sugar coating the things you have to speak very plainly okay when you are speaking with your uh, direct communicator that is with aniket when you are speaking you have to speak very quickly uh, very uh, plainly okay 
डोंट क्या बोलते हैं उसको अप्रिसिएशन ये वो मत करो अनिकेत को अनिकेत सर आप कितने अच्छे हो आप जैसा आदमी मैंने देखा नहीं ये वो और फिर बाद में बोलोगे सर मुझे दो दिन की छुट्टी मिलेगी क्या नहीं चलता उनको डायरेक्टली जाओ अनिकेत को डायरेक्टली बोलो सर अनिकेत सर आई वॉन्ट हॉलीडेज फॉर टू डेज गिव यू दॉलीडेज ओके दैट इज द थिंग दैट इज टू बी डन विथ हिम या फिर अनिकेत आपके नीचे अगर काम कर रहा है तो अपने को अनिकेत को ऐसे नहीं बोलना अनिकेत यार तू बहुत ही अच्छा काम करता है सो so, ये थोड़ा और एक थोड़ा असाइनमेंट इसको कंप्लीट कर रहे नो नो जस्ट गो एंड टेल हिम ही वोट लाइक दैट तुम जो बोल रहे हो जस्ट गो एंड टेल हिम अनिकेत दिस इज द वर्क दैट इज टू बी डन बाई यू फिनिश ऑफ दिस टास्क ही विल डू इट फॉर यू ओके बिकॉज इज ही लव डायरेक्ट कम्युनिकेशन राइट गॉट इट दिस इज अबाउट द डायरेक्ट कम्युनिकेशन आई विल गिव यू एन एग्जाम्पल जस्ट गो थ्रू दिस एग्जाम्पल so uh, here is a letter that is written by uh, annie okay annie is writing the letter to jane this is the communication that she has done earlier which is not going to work the first example shows the type of communication that will not work because jane is the one with direct communication style so usko kaun se type ka uh, communication acha lagega okay that is given below over here so this is the communication which jane is going to like and this is the communication which jane is not going to like okay so just go through the communication and try to read out what is the communication that she is going to like and what is the communication she is not going to like i give you 2 minutes for it fast have you gone through this so this is a very lengthy kind of a communication okay where he is talking about the personal things also and he is going round and round about the topic he is appreciating her okay this any she is appreciating jane whereas in the second communication if you see it is a very direct kind of a communication right so what is the difference between these two communication let's come to it in the first one it is eventually around the point okay it is also personal sounding and it doesn't give any kind of a clear request okay these are the three things in the first communication whereas if you see the second communication it is making a request and it is making a request in a very clear way if you see this request over here please let me know ye uh, last line agar aap padhoge okay i would like to meet you for 10 to 15 minutes tomorrow to discuss strategy and timing here also he is asking how to meet but he is not giving him uh, giving her time you know when to meet how to meet whereas over here he is specifically whereas where, where over here she is specifically giving the time that i want to meet you this is the request where, for how much time for 10 to 15 minutes that is also tomorrow for discussing the strategy and timing okay and also further she is requesting her let me know when to meet at 1 o'clock 130 or 2 o'clock so the request is what the request is a very clear request also it is not the discussion is not round the point it is also not too uh, it is not too personal also the second communication the second communication may seem to you as very curt kind of an communication curt means very short abrupt or blunt kind of an communication that may seem to you that may seem um, jane may not uh, any may not like this kind of an communication because any is a different kind of a communicator okay so any may not like this kind of a communication but don't worry and jane is a direct communicator so jane will appreciate whatever any has written which is very short and sweet kind of a communication because uh, jane does not have time you know for uh, for going through all these things and she find it she finds it very boring okay also if you see the second communication the second communication is very professional kind of an communication and there is very less chances of misunderstanding whereas if you see first communication what the communicator wants what any wants to ask okay jane is not able to understand only because it is not a direct kind of an communication
so that is the difference between the uh, the first and the second communication this second kind of communication would be very very useful okay this is the example of you know of a considerate kind of an communication that we are going to see so when i am going to give you the example of considerate kind of communication i am going to show you i am going to tell you this communication is nothing but a considerate kind of an communication whereas this kind of communication is a direct kind of communication so if jane was a considerate communicator then i would have given her this kind of letter but as jane is a direct kind of a communicator so i prefer this kind of a letter right so it is very important for you to understand what kind of communicator you are and it is also important for you to understand what kind of a communicator the other person is okay because if the other person is your boss then you have to make the changes according to him okay whereas if the other person is your uh, is your what you call that junior then you have to make the changes according to him right क्योंकि बेसिकली आपका इंटेंशन क्या है दैट द कम्युनिकेशन शुड बी एन इफेक्टिव कम्युनिकेशन सो इफ आई मैच विद द स्टाइल्स ऑफ द अदर पर्सन देन एंड देन ओनली माय कम्युनिकेशन इज गोइंग टू बी एन इफेक्टिव कम्युनिकेशन ओके इफ आई डोंट मैच विद द अदर स्टाइल देन इट मे नॉट बी अ इफेक्टिव कम्युनिकेशन ओके now the second type of communication is spirited this is this was all about earlier what you have seen were all about the direct communication style now the second type of communication style is spirited communication style okay now in spirited communication style it lies in this quadrant if you see over here okay this is the quadrant in which it is it is like so the person is high on assertiveness as well as he is high on emotions also he is the person with emotions okay got it so these kind of people just a second okay so these type of people they are you know they are very uh, they have a very interesting kind of and they are spirited kind of communicator okay jo baba log hote hai na babas all the uh, all the great uh, सेंस नहीं जो भी अभी है ना जो भी रामदेव बाबा एंड दोज आसा राम बापूज एंड ऑल ऑल दोज ओके ये जो मोटिवेशनल स्पीकर होते हैं दे ऑल आर स्प्रिटेड काइंड ऑफ कम्युनिकेटर्स ऑल द मोटिवेशनल स्पीकर ऑल दीज सन्स एक्सेट्रा ओके दे टेल यू दोरीज दे टेल यू दस ओके एंड दे आर ऑल इन टू यू नो बिल्डिंग अप द थिंग्स बहुत बड़ा चढ़ा के बोलेंगे चीजों को दे आर नॉट गोइंग टू कीप इट शॉर्ट एंड क्रिस्प दे आर गोइंग बिल्ड अराउंड द थिंग्स ओके एंड देन दे आर गोइंग टू कम टू अ पॉइंट बाय गिविंग द एग्जांपल गाइड बाय गिविंग द स्टोरीज ओके दे आल्सो टेल यू दे आर नॉट गोइंग टू आस्क यू दे आर आल्सो गोइंग टू टेल यू बट दे आर गुड ऑन इमोशन राइट एंड दीज टाइप ऑफ कम्युनिकेटर्स आर नोन एज स्प्रिटेड कम्युनिकेटर्स दे आर नोन एज ड्रीमर्स they are known as inventors and they are known as innovators okay they have great ideas okay and and their and their speech is always in hyperbole okay you know the figure of speech hyperbole okay so they are always on to, into hyperbole and they have great ideas and they and they so, sound to be very perceive, uh, persuasiveness at the first you know you get uh, 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 you think whatever they are saying is very very right and you get and you seem to get impressed by them whatever they are saying they are so persuasive and you think whatever they are saying is very very right and uh, this is the only thing which is right nothing else is there uh, right in this world than what they are saying okay itne wo persuasive hote hain the sales the sales force they they are all spirited uh, they also have this spirited communication style bahut spirited hote hain sales force ki jo team hoti hai wo the people who are, who work in this uh, sales uh, you know sales job somebody like me who have worked in sales job okay for few years okay they have this spirited kind of an communication they develop this which is their secondary style but that becomes their primary style over a period of time they are very uh, persuasive in nature right and they and they and they build around the things okay and they are uh, they are not very good at discussing the details because unko details malum hi nahi hote 
इफ यू आज दम अबाउट दी फैक्ट इफ यू आज दम अबाउट दी फिगर्स उनको कुछ भी नहीं मालूम होता ओके बट यू टेल दम कि कौन सी कार अच्छी है सिर्फ एक बार उनको पूछना है स्पिरिटेड कम्युनिकेशन वालों को एक बार पूछ देना कि कौन सी कार अच्छी है दे विल से बी एमडब्ल्यू इज द बेस्ट ओके और वो बी एमडब्ल्यू के आपको दस चीजें बताएंगे ठीक है ऐसी है वैसे ही क्या स्पीड पकड़ती है रास्ता छोड़ती ही नहीं है बिल्कुल बी एमडब्ल्यू वेरी वेरी सेफ कार ओके एंड माई गॉड कंफर्ट सीट्स क्या है सीट्स इंटीरियर तो माशाला पूछो मत बेस्ट दीज थिंग्स दे विल टेल बट देवर टेल यू वॉट इज द हॉर्स पावर देवर टेल यू वॉट इज द बूट स्पेस देवर टॉक अबाउट द लेग स्पेस देवर नेवर टॉक अबाउट द इंजिन कैपेसिटी देवर नेवर टॉक अबाउट द टॉर्क ओके देवर नेवर टॉक अबाउट द स्पीड एंड सो ऑन एंड सो फोर देवर नेवर टॉक अबाउट द टायर बिट एन एक्सेट्रा ये चीजें नहीं बोलेंगे वो क्योंकि उनको मालूम ही नहीं रहती ओके ये किसको मालूम होती है सिस्टमिक कम्युनिकेटर वालों को मालूम रहती है लेकिन इनको कुछ मालूम नहीं रहता ठीक है दे डोंट नो एनी डिटेल्स सो दे आर नॉट गुड एट डिस्कसिंग द डिटेल्स राइट एंड दे विल गो टेंजेंट इन द कन्वर्सेशन ये एक और उनकी चीजें होती है दे विल गो टेंजेंट इन द कन्वर्सेशन फॉर एग्जाम्पल कार कौन सी अच्छी है यार बी एमडब्ल्यू इज द बेस्ट कार आई टेल यू बी एमडब्ल्यू इज बीन यूज बाय राजीव गांधी राजीव गांधी उन्होंने द प्राइम मिनिस्टर जो थे अपने इंडिया के प्राइम मिनिस्टर आफ्टर इंदिरा गांधी एज सुन एज इंडिया गांधी डाइड ना इंदिरा गांधी के बाद डायरेक्टली राजीव गांधी बिकेम इंदिरा गांधी आई एम जस्ट टेलिंग यू हाउ दे कम्युनिकेट सो एज सुन एज इंदिरा गांधी डाइड राजीव गांधी बिकेम द प्राइम मिनिस्टर राजीव गांधी को कुछ भी नहीं आता था पहले बट बाद में उसने कॉम्प्यूटर लाए कॉम्प्यूटर यू नो बिकॉज ऑफ कॉम्प्यूटर अब ये देखो पूछा क्वेश्चन क्या था उसको कौन सी कार अच्छी है बराबर है और उसका कन्वर्सेशन कहां पे चला गया राजीव गांधी और कंप्यूटर्स पे चला गया उसका कन्वर्सेशन ओके सो दे गो ऑफ टेंजेंट उनको उनको आपको वापस खींच के लाना पड़ता है अरे मेरे भाई मैंने तेरे को राजीव गांधी के बारे में नहीं पूछा आई एम आस्किंग यू अबाउट दी कार्स सो टेल मी अबाउट दी कार्स बट यू नो वन दिस वन दिस स्टार्ट स्पीकिंग ना यू ट्राई टू डेवलप इंटरेस्ट इन दर टॉक्स You you feel nice nice talking with them with the spirited communication people you feel very nice talking to them. आपको लगता है कि यार बस ये बात करते रहे लेकिन आखिर में input क्या होता है तो input उसका zero हो जाता है There is nothing that outcomes that come from it because आपको पूछना था कि car कौन सी अच्छी है वो तो output वैसे ही रह जाता है वो तो आता ही नहीं है लेकिन जब वो बात करते रहते हैं आपको बहुत अच्छा लगता है राजीव गांधी के बारे में बात करेंगे राजीव गांधी का इन्फॉर्मेशन देंगे कंप्यूटर्स का इन्फॉर्मेशन देगी एंड सो ऑन एंड सो फोर्थ सो दे गो टेंजेंट टू दी कन्वर्सेशन ओके ऊपर से चला जाता है वो सारा कन्वर्सेशन राइट दे लव टू गिव एग्जाम्पल्स दे लव टू गिव स्टोरीज ओके सो दैट विथ दो स्टोरीज एंड एवरीथिंग देन दे विल कम टू अ पॉइंट राइट सो पॉइंट पे आने के लिए इनको स्टोरीज बतानी पड़ती वेर एज डायरेक्ट कम्युनिकेशन पीपल दे डोंट लाइक दिस स्टोरीज दे डोंट लाइक दिस एग्जाम्पल Whereas if you see spirited communication people, they like the stories and uh, these examples. The main challenge that you have when you are communicating with this direct communicating uh, with the spirited communication people is to keep them to the agenda. Baba, agenda apna car hai. Agenda apna hai that we have to buy a machine. Uske upar discussion chal raha. Please don't discuss something else. Please, we will discuss this thing something afterwards. We have we have very less time in our hand. so let us remain focused on this particular topic unki baatein agar aap dekhoge spirited communication wale ki bahut dramatic hoti hai whether it is a written communication or whether it is a verbal communication that their their communication is very dramatic and as their communication is very very dramatic okay hence you you feel interested in their communication you like their communication but the only problem that they have is because of this dramatic communication though they are inter as i have told you but they are totally non specific in nature okay specific baat hi nahi karenge wo and subjects in order to keep them on to the track you have to bring them back to the subject okay please don't discuss this we are discussing this this is the thing that we have to do okay can somebody be volunteer and tell me the person who is having the spirited communication style somebody who belongs to the spirited communication style anybody sir 
I can I can tell you that I am having a very spirited communication style. I want a person who you know uh, who talks about gives the examples etc. जिसको बहुत बातें करने को अच्छा लगता है ये सारे लोग स्पिरिटेड कम्युनिकेशन स्टाइल में आते हैं यस ये समबडी सेल सर आई थिंक सो रोहित रोहित यू से हेलो यस सर आई वाज आई वाज टॉकिंग या रोहित बोलो तो यू आर द वन बे यू बिलोंग टू दिस आई थिंक दैट माय यस इट्स यू हैव स्पिरिटेड स्टाइल या Okay, okay. So, Rohit, uh, what are the things that you have to uh, take care of, or uh, let me put that: what are the things that I have to take care of? Because I feel that I am a little bit of uh, spirited communication style, where I am, I am very, I very high on assertiveness because I like to tell the things. I don't like to hear to people. That is one thing. I don't like to ask people. So that is one reason that I feel that I am a spirited communication style, and I am very high on emotion also. Okay. so that is the reason why i also think that i am also having high spirited style communication style like you have do you feel okay so what are the things that we both have for uh, rohit okay let us see. and the others who feel that they have this spirited communication style first you know while uh, when we are considering new ideas to share okay we should first you know, see whether these ideas can be literally converted into action sirf badi badi baatein bana ke hone wala nahi hai apna फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई एम टेलिंग रोहित अपन ऐसा करेंगे एक ऐसी कार बनाएंगे जस्ट गिव मी टू मिनट्स माई बैटरी इज गोइंग डाउन जस्ट मिनट जस्ट गिव टू मिनट I am so so very sorry. Are you able to hear? Me? Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Sir. Okay. I am so sorry. My laptop ka battery chala gaya, isliye wo off ho gaya tha. I am very sorry. Okay. So Rohit, uh, you and me, what we should remember first, you know, we should give the ideas which can come into practice. बड़ी बड़ी आइडिया देखे फायदा नहीं है कि सर अपन ऐसी कार बनाएंगे जो हवा में उड़ेगी नो वॉट एवर इज प्रैक्टिकल वी शुड स्पीक दैट ओनली एंड वी शुड स्टिक टू दैट ओनली वी शुड यू नो वी शुड एग्री अपॉन द एजेंडाज एंड वी शुड स्टिक टू दी टाइमिंग्स ऑफ द मीटिंग क्योंकि हमारी आदत है कि हम बातें करते करते भटक जाते जैसे कि अभी पांच बज गए लेकिन फिर भी मैं सिखा रहा हूँ बराबर है और मेरा एजेंडा क्या था मुझे चार चारों कम्युनिकेशन स्टाइल खत्म करने थे लेकिन कितने खत्म हो गए दो भी खत्म नहीं हो पाए मेरे से ओके सो वी डोंट स्टिक अप ऑन टू दी एजेंडाज वी डोंट स्टिक अप ऑन टू दाइम डिमिनेट्स इन द मीटिंग ओके फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू मस्ट बी रिमेम्बर इन रोहित योर सिलेबस ऑफ आई पी वन वॉज ऑफ फिफ्टीन फोर्टी फाइव लेक्चर्स बट आई रिक्वायर्ड यू नो नियर अबाउट सिक्सटी लेक्चर्स टू कम्प्लीट दर सिलेबस बिकॉज ऑफ दिस प्रॉब्लम ओनली बिकॉज वी गो ऑन स्पीक टू मच सो वी शुड टेक केयर दैट वी डोंट स्पीक टू मच वी डोंट शेयर यू नो वी डोंट स्टार्ट शेयरिंग पर्सनल एनेकडोट्स जो मैं करते रहता हूँ ना आपने देखा होगा ना आई आई शेयर अबाउट माई चाइल्ड आई शेयर अबाउट आई टॉक पर्सनली टू यू एक्सेट्रा दैट वी शुड स्टॉप वी शुड रिस्ट्रिक्ट आर सेल्फ फॉर यू नो वी शुड लिमिट आर सेल्फ बाई शेयरिंग ऑफ दर्सन एंड वी डू इट 
too much of uh, too much of, of it you know so we should restrict it we should limit it okay we should allow others also to contribute to their ideas and suggestions okay and you should listen to them humko baat karna itna acha lagta hai we tell so much that we don't listen to them okay we don't ask them okay so we should we should try doing that right we should allow the others to contribute also we should we should listen to their ideas also we should listen to their suggestions also that we should do we should also appreciate other other persons for their work and input we are so much into ourselves that we appreciate ourselves only at moment of time and we are into ourselves only hum koi khud ko bahut apne bare mein acha lagne lagta hai to hum bakiyon ke bare mein zyada karke appreciate nahi karte so you have to take a conscious efforts i have to take a conscious effort and all the people who have spirited communication have to take con- uh, conscious efforts that you appreciate others work you listen to the others you don't give too much of examples you don't give too much of stories okay you don't uh, uh, be off tangent you know topic chhod ke dusri baatein karne lagte hain okay that, that all you should not do okay so these are the t- tips for us as a spirited uh, if you have the spirited communication side how the others should talk to us okay all the students they should remember while talking to me or while they are talking with uh, uh, rohit you know what is the care that you have to take okay so uh, you have to you know use an agenda with time limits okay uh, so that you know we also stick to time and you also stick to time you have to praise us okay in front of other people rohit is going to like it if i if i start praising him in front of other people you know rohit is going to like it so if rohit is your boss praise him in front of other people he is going to be happy he is going to give you promotion if so if rohit is your junior praise him rohit bolega sir aur kuch kaam hai kya aapke paas main wo bhi karta hu aapka okay he is going to like the people who are going to praise him agar direct communication wala jo tha usko praise acha nahi lagta tha lekin spirited wale ko acha lagta hai to usko praise karo okay rohit bhatak jayega se jab bhi aapse baat kar raha hai rohit bhatak jayega topic se आपका टॉपिक है कि मूवी कौन सा जाना है और रोहित बात करेगा अमिताभ बच्चन कितना एक्टिंग करता है तो ब्रिंग रोहित बैक टू द टॉपिक रोहित मेरे भाई अपने को पिक्चर जाना है तो वो बता कौन से पिक्चर को जाना अमिताभ बच्चन के बारे में आप बंद बाद में डिस्कस करेंगे लेट अस कम टू आवर टॉपिक ओके रोहित जब बोलेगा कि अरे डोंट वरी मेरा जो ये सिटी प्राइड वाला पुणे का है ना उसका जो उसका जो भाई है ना वो आपने पहचान का है तो आपने को टिकट ऐसे ही मिल जाएंगे अगर रोहित ऐसा का को कहेगा तो डोंट वरी यू शुड अंडरस्टैंड थोड़ा एग्जैगरेट कर रहे छोड़ दो उसको रहेगा पहचान का रहेगा उसका लेकिन बहुत दूर के पहचान का रहेगा सो ही इज गोइन टू एग्जैगरेट द थिंग्स तो यू शुड लीव हिम ओके यू शुड अंडरस्टैंड दैट इज एग्जैगरेटिंग राइट सेकेंड सेकेंड चैलेंज दैट यू हैव इन योर हैंड इज यूर टू ब्रेक डाउन इज आइडिया इन टू स्पेसिफिक आउटकम्स एंड चैलेंज यू टू टेल इट रोहित भाई तू कार बनाना चाहता है जो हवे में उड़ेगी बराबर है तो प्लीज टेल मी हाउ यू आर गोइंग टू प्रिपेयर इट व्हाट इज देयर इन योर माइंड ओके हाउ द इंजन विल लुक लाइक वेर डू यू वांट टू ड्राइव इट कैसे व्हाट इज योर प्लान सो हिज हिज बिग आइडिया यू हैव टू कट इन टू स्मॉल 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 आइडियाज ओके सो दैट यू कैन अचीव दैट आउटकम बिकॉज हिज बिग आइडिया इफ यू डिवाइड इन टू स्मॉल स्मॉल आइडियाज देन स्मॉलर स्मॉलर आइडियाज यू कैन एन कैश अप दैट कैन बी डन ओके okay. उसको एग्री करवा के लेना जब वो बोलेगा ना आपको कि सिटी प्राइड में अपनी पहचान है और अपने को टिकट मिल जाएंगे ऐसा जब वो कहेगा बुक माई शो पे टिकट बुक करने की जरूरत नहीं है डोंट वेस्ट द टाइम अपने को टिकट मिल जाएंगे सिटी प्राइड पे वो अपना दोस्त है तो एक बार वापस उसको रिएफर्म करना रोहित याद रख तू क्या बोल रहा है मेरे भाई की सिटी प्राइड में तेरी पहचान है और अपने को टिकट मिल जाएंगे पक्का ना वापिस वहां पे जाके कोई पंगा नहीं होगा ना ओके सो दीज टाइप्स ऑफ थिंग यू हैव टू री अफोम फ्रॉम हिम दिस इज दिस इज जनरल जनरल टॉक दैट आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट बट वी आर इन टू बिजनेस यू हैव टू आस्क हिम यू आर टेलिंग मी दैट दिस सप्लायर इज गोइंग टू सप्लाई द गुड्स ऑन टाइम ओके इज गोइंग टू सप्लाई द रॉ मटेरियल रोहित आर यू श्योर अदरवाइज आवर प्रोडक्शन इज गोइंग टू गेट स्टक वी आर गोइंग टू लूज ऑन सेल्स we are going to have a huge loss so please see to it that you get that raw material on time this is what you have to reaffirm with it okay 
because he is going to exaggerate so you have to think that in mind that when you are talking with rohit you have to reaffirm about the things okay you have to use the checklist you have to give him written reminders okay so that whatever are the things that are need to be done will be done by him kyunki bol bachchan mein to bol jayega teen din mein maal aa jayega don't worry teen din mein maal bhej deta hu are wo teen din mein bolta hai maal bhej deta hu lekin jaise aap wahan se uske samne se chale jaoge rohit ke dimag se wo sab baat nikal jayegi because is a spirited communicator aap samne aa gaye aap se bol bachchan dusra samne aa gaya uske sath bol bachchan tisra samne aa gaya uske sath bol bachchan theek hai but but yes these kind of people are very very good motivators they are very good on explanation okay and these are the people who are very good in a sales team okay if you have to sell something then it has to be rohit who has to do it if he has to uh, if uh, if the quotation has to be brought down it is rohit who is going to help you do that if there are some things which are not getting done it is rohit who will help you to get the things done because he is a very very spirited communicator he is very very high on assertion as as he is very very high on emotions okay so he is a very good motivator agar aapko motivation kisko karna hai to rohit ko samne rakh dena rohit is going to be a very good motivator okay so coming back to my point so you have to give him written reminder to teen din mein bola tha okay so again i have to tell him rohit you said that you are going to do this work in 3 days remember it again the next day i have to give him a, a whatsapp message rohit one day is over in next two days you are going to deliver me the things again in the evening i have to call him up rohit what is the status have the good started or not so on and so forth so repeated reminders i have to give him so that i can get the work done from him right okay understood this is about the spirited communication if it has to be a spirited communication okay how is the communication that it is going to be for sally please read this okay try to understand the communication so this is the letter this is written by george to sally and this is the communication that he has done and this communication is a spirited communication okay uh, which is uh, which is done to sally because she is a spirited communicator person okay just go through this communication then we will talk about this communication within 2 minutes Sally is the person who is having the spirited communication style. So George is trying to match that communication style. So as it in a very spirited communication style letter to Sally. So if you see this, how is this letter? This communication is very enthusiastic. First of all, right? It is very complimentary. Uh, Sally has given a presentation. so what uh, george is doing he is complimenting her that uh, he has giving a very good presentation and this letter is also flattering letter nature okay the presentation given to you was fantastic i enjoyed the way you had audience participate in the session okay. this was her first communication sally sally ka ye first presentation tha so george is what is motivating her because sally herself is a, a spirited communicator as well as george is also a spirited communicator okay so this is how the letter has this has been written by him okay and uh, she will be very happy sally will be very happy to see this communication okay if if sally was a direct communicator then she would have loved only two lines okay she would have not like this fantastic enjoyed and all these things she would have just loved two lines your presentation today was up to the point okay and i am free on thursday at this time for the discussion and this then the communication would have end right but here what what george has done is he has added the enthusiasm he has added the complimentary thing he had added the uh, what do you call that flattering praises okay for sally into this okay are you getting me are you trying to understand the difference between the communications i hope you understood the difference between the direct communication and the spirited communication